In grade eight, when I came to high school, I was your normal student. I went to school uh, and then went straight home, did my homework, played video games. I wasn't interested in volunteering, I wasn't interested in anything to do with sustainability or the environment. I wasn't even into sports. But then in grade nine, my teacher just pulled me in and was like, so you're here to help out with um, volunteering. That's where it all started. Food is a timeless, universal act of connection. Everybody eats. It's something we do when we wake up, when we, right before we go to bed, we're eating food all the time. We are really fortunate to be situated in a city and a region where food is being examined so closely. Once you start looking at those food systems, once you start changing them, you have the potential to change the world. The Farm to School Vancouver Area Regional Hub encompasses three major components. The first is healthy local food, getting that into the hands of students from kindergarten to grade 12. Uh, we're trying to focus more on local foods. We get a lot of food from the Lower Mainland and greens from our garden, from Fresh Roots Urban Farm. Realizing that students love to go out into the garden, but they really, really love to eat what we make. So wash it, prep it, cook it, they get to taste it and promote it to the, to the rest of the school. Uh, they're finding attractive food because you do eat with your eyes. So that's uh, fresh and delicious looking and colorful, nutritionally sound, and that they'll purchase it. The second component is hands-on learning. So really getting kids out, digging in the dirt, understanding that a seed ends up being a plant, ends up being something on your plate, and helping them to engage with the natural world. So you'll see English teachers out in our outdoor classroom now doing haikus, or the um, biology teachers going out and looking at insects. And the third component is connecting schools to the community. It doesn't matter what language you speak or where you come from, there's something that is resonant in your past about food. Because food is such a connector, people from the neighborhood are able to engage with one another. And there's a lot of joy in that. Joy is one of the underpinnings for nutrition. When we think about nutrition, it's not just about physical health. There's an overlap with social and emotional and psychological health. This is an approach that engages a lot of the senses. So we're looking at touch, sight, smell, but also emotions. Those are the things with hands-on learning that will stay with kids. Part of it is, is giving that opportunity for them to try, because if you don't give them a chance, how would you know? Knowing what I want to study, that's really rare when I talk to high school kids and when I work with youth. I'm going to UBC because I want to study agriculture. And I got an opportunity to manage this rooftop space. I'm studying agriculture because I want to uh, continue learning um, creative ways I can use the garden in teaching because I want to become a teacher in the future. I wish more students could feel the same way, um, that school is there for them, um, not the other way around. Farm to School can help bring together all the elements that can help uh, your, your dreams and projects move forward. So we're talking about healthy local food, we're talking about hands-on learning, and we're talking about school and community connectedness, so we're talking about farm to school. It's not just about vegetables, it's about saying, hey, we can do something about the state of the world that we're in. That's the energy that's behind this. That's the possibility of farm to school.